We continue our coverage of DSCI UK 2025. We're now on the massive BAE Systems booth. I am meeting with uh, Nick Martin. He's the program manager for Hearn. We're standing in front of the full-scale model of that uh, XL UUV and uh, we're going to find out all about it. Nick, uh, good afternoon. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Thank you for your time. So what can you tell us about the Hearn program for uh, BA Systems? Yes, yeah, so last year we put a prototype vehicle in the water, so we tested it for about five months, both in Canada and the UK. We, we've learned a lot from that and we're moving to the phase of producing a final product. So we're in the late stages of designing it and we're going to build it and trial it next year. Right. Uh, what's the relation so be the, or the difference between uh, her and the, the model we see behind you and uh, the current uh, demonstrator that's in the water the running tests? Yeah, so the one we've learned a lot from the demonstrator, so there's things that went really well, some things we learned we can improve. Some of the key different features are the shape. So we've worked for our, with our colleagues in Baron Furness who designed the astute class submarines to make a much more hydrodynamically efficient shape. Also, the actual framework is now a bolted aluminium framework. So if anyone's ever played Meccano as a kid, it's a bit like a, a building block set. So it's much more adaptable um, and configurable as well. And there's other improvements to the subsystems. So you just mentioned the astute submarine. Is there any other uh experience from BAE Systems that uh, you are leveraging for this uh, program? Yeah, I guess the, the main two are in Nautimate, which is our autonomy software. So we started off by deploying that to boats, surface boats, and we've moved it to subsurface now. So we're always making refinements on that. And the second element is the payloads that we offer. So we have lots of payloads as BA systems from ISR surveillance capabilities. This can fit our Stingray torpedoes in as well. But we've got lots of partners across the world who offer payload capability into this. So the, the mission sets uh, sound uh, quite uh, diverse and interesting actually. Yeah. There's a, for the Royal Navy a program called, or project called the Project Cabot uh, that aims at uh, creating a, some kind of underwater array of sensors yeah. uh, to track and uh, potentially uh, disable submarines. Does this, would, this, would Hearn fit uh, any role in, in this project? Yeah, so we certainly see it as part of the mix. You know, Hearn is designed to operate with surface boats, uh, drones, ships. Um, we, we have a C2 system that we can be controlled alongside various vehicles. It has ISR capabilities, wherever it be a towed sonar or array or acting as a decoy. So there, there's various ways that it could definitely fit into Atlantic Net and Atlantic Bastoon. Uh, lastly, what's the approximate time frame? So you're currently uh, building this. Uh, when uh, will it, uh, you know, hit the water, and uh, when will you be running tests with it? Yeah. So my team are, are busy finalizing the design. So we're due to complete the design end of this year. We're going to go straight into building it. Um, so in about a year's time, we'll be in the water trialing for the rest of the year, with the aim from 2027 onwards having a, a final assured militarized product ready for sales customers. Very well, Nick. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.